hello everyone welcome to my youtube channel in today's video we're going to be talking taking our time to talk more about understanding price action now as we learned in our previous video we learned that the market can either be doing one out of the three things it's either it's going up or it's coming down or it's moving sideways so the market is either going up or it's coming down or it's moving sideways now without wasting much time we're going to go into the live chat and try to see how this movement are being done now let's start with um a downward moving market now for a downward moving, which simply means the market is in a downtrend or the market is bearish in another terms is when the market is making lower lows and lower highs lower lows and lower highs lower lows and lower highs like we explained before now when the market makes a low it makes a low that is lower than the previous low which is this then it comes it makes a retracement where it makes a high then from that high we are expecting the market to make another lower low which is going to be lower than which is going to be lower than the previous low now if you notice i didn't take this low as a lower low because this low is not lower than this one so for a market that is in a downtrend it has to be a market that is making lower lows and lower highs so as the market made a lower low it also made it the market also made a lower high which is lower than the previous high which is this now also the market now also went to make a lower low that is lower than this one and so on and i remember talking about the, ch the change in structure the structure of the market only change when the market comes to take out a significant high a downward moving market the structure of the market only changes when the market comes to take out the last lower high which is this as at this point this was where the structure of the market changed when the market closed above the body closed above this high if you watch my previous video you will know that um when i talked about mapping of structural highs and low i talked about the weak mapping and the body close mapping right here i'm using the weak as the structural high but we can also illustrate the body close as also the structural high but i just prefer to have a week as the structural high now the structure of the market only changes when the market closed above this high as at this point we are looking at a market who broke above this last lower high and now made a higher high now what we are expecting the market to do is, is to make a higher low then the uptrend to me will be confirmed when this market comes to make a higher high above this above the previous high but as it is now this is a support a resistance sorry that is now becoming that is not acting as a support as i said in my previous video when it's support or in my support and resistance video when the support is broken becomes resistance and when the resistance is broken it starts acting as a support at the point this was a resistance that brought the market down and when the market got here it had some issues before it broke above it but finally breaking above it now this resistance is not acting as the support of the market currently so we are expecting the, this market having the knowledge that okay for an upward moving market we expect the market to start making higher highs and higher low we expect this market now to make a higher high which is higher than this current which is higher than this current high which is higher than this current high so that's it for a down trend or for a downward moving market a quick recap for a downward moving market we expect the market to keep making lower lows and lower high lower lows and lower high lower lows and lower high but the structure of the market changes when the market comes to take out the last previous high now for a sideways moving 
market but a side move market this is a market that is not making a higher highs neither is it making a lower low now this is a sideways moving market as at this point here the market is neither making higher highs nor higher lows and the market is just moving sideways so as at this point what you what you expect the market to do is that when it gets to this resistance it bounces off or when it gets to the support it bounces off that's a side moving market a side moving market is a market that is not trending but the market that is ranging bouncing off a specific support or a specific resistance now as at this point here the market attempted to break above here but fade and went back down to, to the support but finally but finally it broke below and thereby starting the down trend here that's it for a sideways moving market for a market that is moving sideways a market that is that is bouncing off a specific support and resistance well, when it comes to even trading, it's quite simple. You want to buy when market comes to a support level, and you want to sell when the market comes to the resistance level. And the range is actually confirmed when the market have done two bounces of that specific zone. What I mean is that okay, the market made a high, market was coming up here, made a high, then came back down to make a low. Then, as at this zone here, it made another high. But not actually equal to this but one thing you understand is that the support and resistance is not a single line but a region a zone in the market so i will also consider this one a part of the resistance so uh seeing the market bouncing off here and coming down to this low then to my east in that the market has entered into the resistance so as at that point as at that initial point what i'll be looking at is a market that is bouncing off this region here the market that is bouncing off this region here but coming up to this zone does not mean that the market has started its uptrend it simply means that the market has has gone deeper into the resistance zone so from this having the first bounce the second bounce the third bounce the fourth bounce here i'll be looking to show this market here and i'll be looking to buy this market here because I like taking the market I like taking range from the third bounce either from the resistance or also the third bounce from the support what I still mean is that this is the first this is the second this is the third bounce from the support well this is the first this is the second this is the third bounce from the resistance the third bounce to me has more probability of wins than losses but talking about the fourth bounce I may not really take the fourth rejection of the support all the resistance what i start waiting for is a breakout before i start trading so now for an uptrend as we learned in the previous video an uptrend is a market that is making higher highs and higher lows simply illustrated here is this this is the low this is the higher high which is higher than this previous high then this is the low which is higher than this previous low then this is the higher high which is higher than this previous which is higher than this previous uh, high now from here onward what you see the market do is the market came to make a double bottom came to retest this double bottom this other block here this other block at this zone here attempted to to go higher but couldn't now and what we see is a market that now entered into a range bouncing off is a specific or a zone of support and resistance bouncing off a zone of support and resistance this is the support this is the resistance so what you simply want to do here is if you don't want to trade within the way you just simply wait for the breakout which happened right here which happened right at this 
zoom here so from this point what you start looking forward to is to sell the market market broke through did the retest then came back to do another retest before continuing down before continuing down so for an upward moving market is simply a market that is making higher highs and higher lows then a downward moving market is simply a market that is moving lower lows and lower highs and a sided moving market is simply a market that is neither making higher highs and higher lows but just trading between a specific support and resistance now there's something i want to talk about which is structures within structures in the sense that um for an uptrend you can have a downtrend in an uptrend and you can have an uptrend in a downtrend but one is visible on the higher time frame while the other is going to be visible on the lower time frame but in that trend time frame you are trading guys a trend is a trend and the same principle apply let's take for for example okay let's just look at um um okay let's take this example here now this is a market that broke down that we expect to continue down fine but that doesn't mean that like i said a market does not just move in a straight line either going back for a retest or in the direction of the trend now for this market now that is retracing to retest uh, a support that was broken to become a resistance the market started making higher highs and higher lows 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 until the market now entered into a ring then when the same the structure was now broken the structure was now broken as at this zone here the market now started moving now started moving downward same thing here that just happened here guys look at this now a mark this market was this market broke above is a, a resistance zone and now made a higher high now within let me just make this bigger now take a look take a look at this guys this is a mini support that was broken here and the market now made now take a look at this guys this is a mini support that was broken and the market now did a lower low came back to do a lower high now did a lower low sorry now came back to, to do a lower high let's go to the daily time frame it's more visible in the daily time frame okay now it's more visible now this is a higher low that made this higher high what you see the market do is the market came below to break this uh, higher low now making a lower low but came back to put up a lower high made a lower low made a lower high made a lower low now broke it above again now broke above now broke above this lower high that was made that made a higher high now what we see the market is doing now is that the market came back to make a low which is not lower than this low now if the market should put up a higher high now from what we have learned is that at the, in this time frame this market have changed to a bullish market because it has violated the last major structural lower high we are expecting the market to put up a put up a higher high which is higher than this previous high now make a higher low and so on and just continue like that until that same structure becomes violated and the market changes direction awesome so that's what i mean when i say structure which is structure i hope you get that guys but if you don't you can leave a comment below so i'll throw more light or do a separate video on it on that structure within structure part now let's let's move on now we also talked about the uh the different way of mapping your highs and and your lows now like i said there are two different ways which i majorly recognize um is that either you use the body of the candle to mark your high either you use the body of the candle to mark your high or you use the wick of the candle 
or you will use the wick of the candle to mark your high. Same thing goes for the low too. You can see that you use the wick of the candle or you use the body of the candle. But like I said, I prefer um, using the wick so I can be clear when the market has fully bro broken above a specific zone. So that's it on the structure of the market, guys. So we'll try to keep it as simple as possible. Now, on subsequent video, I'm going to be talking about entries. Once you have understand how the market moves, the next thing is where do you buy from? Well, or at what time do you take, at what conditions do you take your trade? Because the fact that the market is going down, you don't just enter on an impossible leg, the market. So these are things I'm going to be talking about on my subsequent videos so that's it for now guys if you enjoyed this video be sure to subscribe and to hit the notification bell so you'll be notified when i create upload a new video and in the comment below let me know if uh, you enjoyed the video if you learned something and also if you have a, uh, um, a request on the video you want me to make you can simply leave it on the comment i'll be sure to reply